you know, no matter what your idea is, I think you can sell it quicker than you think. I think one thing that um, I did and that a lot of founders want to do is they want to say, well, there's this next point once I get there, once I get there, then I'll go talk to customers, then I'll go talk to customers. You should be doing it immediately and you should try, if what you have is really that great, try to get someone to pay you for it ahead of time at a discount or something like that. I mean, that's a super powerful thing that every mentor is going to say, but they should say it every time over and over and over and over again. Another tip is, uh, you know, some of the things we did well is I, is I found a lot of people that were good at things that I'm not good at and tried to create a team right away. For me, it takes a lot of discipline to remember that, that you have to. You can't win every battle, um, and it's important that you lose some of them because that, that lets people know that, they, that their voice really matters. And so uh, I'm glad that we did that. I think we created a culture that we wouldn't have otherwise had if, if I didn't spend time thinking about that. You have to actively find negative criticism. And so I've gotten to the point where I, when I talk to people, I say, you know, I don't want construct, constructive criticism. I know everybody asks for that. I just want negative feedback as mean, as brutal as it can get. That's it. If you don't have that, then don't tell me anything. And you have to do that because people like, I mean, they like what we're doing, but they also just like startups in general. And if you don't like pry it out of them, uh, but that negative feedback is everything. And so I think I wish I knew how valuable that was and more than just an intellectual level. Like now I know from my bones that that's the most important thing.